Well, we look at both there. players, and both players, you know, Nick shaking his head like he, you know, he can't believe he didn't make anything on the break, and Efren, he's still worried. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you know, to, the you break has really that. been been uh, the problem for both of the players, particularly for Reyes. So therefore, really, Nick out. can't complain about coming up dry on the break, because if you notice, Efren really Efren hasn't has pocketed too. many balls at all on the break. Well, I tell you what, I can't believe he's breaking from here again. More velocity well, on the break there. that he time. He did hit the balls. Watch out, one. More velocity, and the balls may take their places. Uh-oh. Okay, now here it is. This is a perfect, perfect layout to want this is what the you U.S. Want. Open title. I mean, all the balls are spread fairly nicely on the table. The first shot looks like the key shot this in the This is rack. the whole key shot of the man. He's going to hit this hard and come around two rails. Okay, it looks like it's perfect speed. Well, he wanted to come up a little more than that, I think. He kind of got a little bit. A little short? A little short of it than he wanted. So now this is the key shot uh, of the match. See, he's shaking his head, and you can tell Let's he's a little Let's go back nervous. to the overhead, Rick, and take a look at the table once again. Okay, the shot here. Well, I tell you what, this is kind of a tricky shot. It's here, very really. tricky. You I would like to slide underneath the, the floor with a little shoot. reverse. But that's really risky there, so. He's going to shoot it with uh, straight bottom means come straight up. No, oh, that's absolutely perfect. That's perfect there. Absolutely perfect. Yep, that one's perfect there. And is this the six down by the five ball here, or the seven? That looks like the seven and the five are on the same side of the table. The ball on the right five. is the eight. Now you're looking at the eight. Two, five, seven, eight, nine. So you're looking at the, the key, the seven to the eight to the nine is, go, is the main key here. Could the dry spell be over? Well, he won't have a better chance at it uh, if it's not. This will be his best chance. Well, I tell you what, he's looking like he's, he's uh Well, there's no reason for any time. hesitation here. See, I wouldn't ever even... I mean, if I was nervous, I'd <laughs> there's go no ahead, reason I'd for all this. There's no reason for getting up and shooting too slow. Okay, what he's looking at here is following two rails uh, in between the eight and the side rail, and he wants to get fairly straight in on the eight. I think any angle will suffice on the eight. You don't want to brush it. Well. Okay, now he's going to draw directly back to the bottom cushion. The only thing that I can envision going wrong here if he fouls the nine with a part of his clothes or his body. Well, I don't think he's going to do it. He's drawing back straight to the bottom cushion. And it looks like Efren Reyes, Efren Reyes is finally going to crack the ice. He's finally going to win a major championship. It's going to be the U.S. Open. <laughs> you know, you really have to feel good for Reyes. You know, I mean, so I tell you, many that's times. a great match. Efren Reyes is the happiest guy in the whole world right now. I tell you huh? what, he really looks happy now. Yeah, you know he's happy. The onus was on Reyes to perform well. He did perform well. He came up dry three or four straight times when he broke in the balls. I tell you what, I, I really feel happy for Efren. You know, he's he's really played hard, and um, you know he's you know he's come out and he showed a great hard fault match with with Nick, and uh, you know he he fought a couple errors there in the middle of the match. So uh, you know he he really showed a lot of heart to really stay in there. Yeah, because, he certainly did. You know, Nick Nick came close to him when he got got the lead. Nick stayed close to him. But then uh, Nick came up dry, and he seen the opportunity. He could have, he could have easily, uh, you know, made a mistake that rack, and that could have, you know, definitely. If pretty you want to win a, if you want to win a championship, you want to win it. You don't want to have someone give it to you. Exactly. And Efren and Reyes won the U.S. Open. Exactly. This year. Nick didn't give it to him. Uh, Efren didn't get lucky. Efren played a great match. You know, he he came up dry. You know, on on two or three breaks, and he still stayed in there when he got got shots. And uh, Nick played a great match, too. Uh, Nick, Nick came up dry on that last rack when he didn't need to.
Yeah. And you know, effort and break and run out the last game of the U.S. Open. That's, That's what great. you really want to do. We've seen some fantastic pull here in the finals of the U.S. Open, both by Varner and especially by Reyes. Reyes made some fantastic shots, and that's probably the reason why he's the one right now sitting or standing next to Don Mackey and Barry Berman. He's the one that's won the 1994 19th annual U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Well, Efren Reyes is the uh, he is the U.S. Open champion, and he's definitely not disputed right now. Uh, you know, he's definitely the best player at this tournament at this point. Well, well, that was really nice of you to say that, Johnny. And anyways, we're going to close this up. So let me add this before we close it up. It's certainly, and I really mean this, really, it certainly has been a pleasure working with you in the finals of the U.S. Open, and I really would like to do it again. Well, thank you, Billy. I really enjoyed it, too. And, uh, you know, I learned a little bit by sitting here and, and listening to you talk. And uh, it's been great, and, it's, you know, it's been fun. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks me. a lot for stopping up, Johnny. Appreciate it. So, and so on behalf of Johnny Archer, this is Bill and Cadona saying thanks a lot for supporting Active Stats. And I'm really glad that you were thoroughly entertained with this championship match. There's no reason why you shouldn't have been. This was a great match. And so if you're, ne if you're next to the phone, give Pat a call. 1-800-828-0397. Give him a call because we got a lot of great matches in our inventory list. See ya probably... Uh, Maybe at the Sands Regency, I guess that's our next event.